I'm in I'm in Google Slides and what I'd like to do is have a custom color in my slides. Now when I create this bar, so I have a nice color underneath it, I'm going to click on the pencil, I'm going to make the outline transparent, but I don't want the fill to be gray. So I come up to fill color and I can choose from all of these colors, but I can also click on here, just click on custom or the plus sign. Those are both going to give me the same thing. And I want it to be purple, but I want it to be a specific shade of purple and just moving around on here and like, is that the right shade of purple that I wanted? I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my website, alicekeeler.com. When I scroll down, I have my logo here on the side and I want that exact shade of purple. So to do that, I'm going to use a Chrome extension. Now the Chrome extension that I use is called Color Pick Eyedropper. There's several of them in the Chrome Web Store that you can choose from, but you want to just be looking at something that has the color that you want. For example, your school's web page with its logo. And then up in the Chrome extension shelf, you're going to find that icon. Now when you install your Chrome extension, you might find it here under this puzzle piece. This is where your Chrome extensions are that are not pinned. So you notice I don't have this pinned to the toolbar, so make sure it does have the blue pinned option for the Chrome extension color picker. So once I have chosen the color picker and I cover over the logo, it's going to allow me to move around so I can get that exact shade of green, purple, yellow, whatever colors in there that you want, you want to click on it. Now this code, you have to copy it, so don't forget to control C copy. Back over here in Google Slides, you're going to click on the paint can, go to custom, and you want to replace this hex code with the one from the Chrome extension. Click OK and now it is the perfect shade of purple.